I love the amazing world of Gumball, and I'm so excited for the movie. I've been wanting to talk about this for so long. I, ah, uh, my favorite show ever. So I remember being a kid and sitting in my living room to watch the new show. May 3rd, 2011, how old was I? I was maybe eight, something like that, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. The DVD started playing and I loved it. I fell in love with this show from the first episode. And since then, I think I have seen every single episode that has aired, most of them, the moment they aired. So I love the diverse characters. Part of Gumball's charm is the wide variety and styles within the show. We have Sussy, who is literally a human chin that they record behind a green screen. Rocky, who is a puppet that I'm pretty sure takes two hands. Like, he looks like part string puppet and part hand puppet sometimes. And it's really strange, but at the same time fun. Like, you're forced into the reality of this world where possibly everything is alive and breathing. And you don't really get eased into that. You get thrown into it, so you're forced to just adapt. You want to see more and more styles. And I will say, I really miss the real Banana Joe, where they was, where he was a real banana, but it's probably for the best, because that was probably wasting a lot of bananas. I loved the scenes, episodes, lines. I loved everything that was poking fun of our world. Because when they brought Trump in, that was kind of funny. Uh, when they brought in the news station and insulting celebrities and ideals, they would bring up how the stock market is failing and crashing, how news stations don't report real news sometimes or have really long intros. Uh, they made fun of sports for a while, sports, sports, sports. I also fondly remember the episode where Gumball and Darwin took over Larry's jobs for a few minutes and they realized we have to go to school and study hard so that we don't end up like you. And that was just pretty, that was pretty deep for me. The different styles. Do you remember the fan fictions episode where all of them, all the fan fictions that were probably real from the internet in all honesty were taken and put into the show? You remember the creepy puppet episode? Cause I do, I got nightmares from it. It was cool, but it was creepy. Or the show that finally showed an anime style that the fans had wanted for years. All of the fan-made Amazing World of Gumball as an anime things were finally real because they made an anime version. I just love the variety because there is no consistency. Aside from the general style they always use, there's always going to be something new or interesting. My favorite episode is the tape. I rewatched it for hours and I couldn't get enough of it. Love that episode. Comedy masterpiece should be loved by everyone. The songs are either really high quality or relatable. Sometimes they're nonsense and that's really their charm. We have some of my favorites here. We have We Enjoy It While We Can, Germs Everywhere, Goodbye, and Now We're Out of Sync. The last episode. I didn't know this was going to be the last episode. I thought this was the last episode of the season, and the next season would restart where this left off, because it was a bit sad. I will say I was a little bit surprised with them turning into humans that I didn't see coming, but the void, uh, Rob trying to save everyone, I saw that coming. And I'm a little bit upset that we're not getting any further into this, that there's not more going on yet. But the movie was announced. So... I'm just going to list things I hope to see. First and foremost, I want to see some anime jokes in there. Gumball did not turn Super Saiyan once and then failed a second time, and probably a bunch of JoJo references for it not to happen. They made too many Japanese culture references for it not to be in this movie. I also want to see all the several styles that are in this show, all the variety, flavor. I want that. We need that in the, we need that in this movie. And finally, we already know, but the main character is probably going to be the Void. Void is going to be the most popular thing in this movie, and I can't wait to see. Do they defeat the Void, or do they accept the Void? Like, I want to know.